Why Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. This is a real serious video that a 3 million sub commentator has just uploaded. So, as many of you guys know, Chris Tyson, who appears in majority of Mr. Beast's videos and is a personal friend of his, recently announced in a tweet that he's been taking hormone replacement therapy for the last three months, meaning that he's replacing his natural male hormones with female hormones in order to transition. And obviously, with Mr. Beast being the biggest YouTuber, on the planet, with people even criticizing him for curing blind people, this turned into a massive topic of conversation, with most of the concern being around if Chris is denying a father figure for his child growing up. My thoughts on that is I think the issue with an absent father figure in a child's life more comes from the fact that the parent is absent, rather than the fact that a man specifically is not around for the kid. But with that being said, I get the concern that people have for the child's well-being. What I don't get is how Chris's personal decision to transition in any way affects Mr. Beast to the point of it being a nightmare for him. But so far I am judging a book by its cover so let's watch this video and find out why Chris looking more feminine is going to destroy the career of the biggest YouTuber on the planet. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast's brand. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. Dude, the presentation of this video is so goddamn over the top. How will Chris wearing makeup affect the Mr. Beast brand? Dun -dun. People have noticed that Chris has begun to change. Boom. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm just saying the music might be a little too dramatic for someone wearing a crop top in a Mr. Beast video. Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? I promise this is the last time I'm gonna comment on this, but the music makes it seem like something so dastardly just happened. Like what you're seeing on screen is a before and after of like a meth addict or the image on the left is like a mugshot of him getting arrested for murder. And the picture on the right is what he used to look like before stepping into the world of of crime. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this. Is this just wishful thinking? Is this projection? Oh, I was hoping that Chris would see the error of his ways and stop painting his nails and be more like a man. This is just too far. But instead, he doubled down on his awful decision. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you make the life decision to take steps to create a gender identity for yourself that you're more personally comfortable with, especially publicly in front of an audience of over a hundred million people, that it may be a decision you intend to double down on. This isn't like a bad take he had that you can just take back and apologize for. It's a personal life decision. What does he expect Chris to do other than double down? Make an apology tweet saying, I'm sorry for wearing makeup in the latest Mr. Beast video. I I hope you guys can forgive me for this lapse in judgment. I won't endanger the Mr. Beast brand like this ever again. The situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my God, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my God, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art This is what we were looking for. Be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. I love the caption Sunny V2 adds to try and prove his point somehow. Chandler joins in to avoid awkward moment. Mr. Beast tries to divert conversation in any way possible. Dude, they're doing a video showing off fan art that was sent to them. I'm pretty sure Chandler joined in and showed more fan art because that's the point of the video. And that Mr. Beast moved on to the next fan art because they got to get through all of it for the video. But even is the implication here that this video
video is awkward because Mr. Beast secretly has negative feelings towards Chris's transition and is annoyed at him for appearing feminine in his videos and ruining the Mr. Beast brand. I understand the argument that if Mr. Beast was really against Chris's transition, he couldn't outright say it publicly due to the immense backlash he would get. But if he really did secretly have an issue with Chris's transition, I don't think he would continue to invite him to make second channel content opening fan mail. If he actually felt that negative about Chris's transition and wanted to actively distance Chris away from his brand in a subtle and non-controversial way, he'd probably start with excluding him from the extra side content and then slowly phase him out of the main Mr. Beast videos. Not casually open fan mail with him in front of 10 million viewers and make subtle clues to his disapproval by having a somewhat minimal reaction to his friend's joke. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Hey, nice oh. shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. Oh my god, the awkwardness! This is proof that Mr. Beast doesn't really approve of this. If Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place? Yeah, dude, whenever I saw Chris in the Mr. Beast videos, all his likable personality traits were directly tied to him being a man. Now that manly Chris is not holding Mr. Beast's backpacks in the $1 versus half a million dollar plane ticket video, I feel personally betrayed. Only men should be in Mr. Beast videos, not this makeup wearing imposter of a Chris. I miss the good old days when he would help out Jimmy with his videos without makeup on. Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. Honestly, who cares about the subtle personality traits of the people in Mr. Beast's videos? Obviously, people like Chandler and Chris and Carl do contribute to Mr. Beast's videos in their own personalized ways. But did did anyone watch Mr. Beast videos to see Chris express his personality in a way that could only be done with testosterone? He's still the same person. He's still in the videos. He just looks different. Does Mr. Beast's career really hinge on whether one of the background characters has makeup on or not? I'm sorry if it seems like I'm undervaluing what Chris brings to the Mr. Beast videos, as I do think he's a positive addition and part of the reason why Mr. Beast is so successful. But to act like Chris taking HRT is going to significantly change anything about Mr. Beast's videos, I feel is an extreme overreaction in an attempt to make this seem like a bigger issue than it is. Is, which is not an issue at all in my opinion, but even if it was and I thought this was the worst thing in the world, I failed to see how it would impact Mr. Beast's videos to the point where they would literally become unwatchable for me. It takes another level of transphobia to stop watching a content creator you like because a trans person simply exists in the same piece of content that you're watching. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. You're comparing Chris's transition, a personal friend of Mr. Beast making a life decision for themselves, to a studio creating a gay character for their fictional piece of media. As if Mr. Beast walked up to Chris and was like, you know what the Mr. Beast channel is really missing? A trans character. Get on HRT right now. We're about to get woke. Like these are actual people living their actual lives who just happened to be friends with Jimmy and as a result became massive creators alongside him. They aren't actors playing a fictional character for Mr. Beast's videos. They're just his friends who like making content with him. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority. He really thinks the silent majority of people cares about how a guy dresses in Mr. Beast's videos to the point where they won't watch anymore. He literally dressed feminine in the most recent Mr. Mr. Beast video that has over 100 million views with only 69k people disliking it. And that's assuming they are all disliking it because of Chris, which is a huge assumption to make. But even if that assumption is correct, that is not the silent 
majority. Not that everyone who has an issue with this would go and express it through disliking Mr. Beast's most recent video, but I think the point still stands that the silent majority of people watching Mr. Beast don't give a fuck. Problem is, this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract, as he's forced to agree with Chris's position, as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, as silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumours and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. How could Chris be so oblivious to how his decision to transition would negatively affect his best friend's YouTube channel? So you're saying he shouldn't have transitioned in order to ensure brand safety for his friend's YouTube channel from controversy he may or may not get due to his friend making a personal life decision that is politically divisive. That's literally insane. If all of Chris's decisions had to go through the filter of how will this affect Jimmy's channel, then he'd be a slave to Mr. Beast. Like what? You can't live your life and make your own decisions because it might piss off some people in a group of over 100 million? I swear to god if Chris sneezed the wrong way, there would be someone within that 100 million talking about how that sneeze made the Mr. Beast video unwatchable. Mr. Beast literally got criticized for curing blind people. When you have that many eyes on you, absolutely anything you do is going to have at least a few people reacting negatively to it. If you stop doing the things you want to do because it might have a negative reaction from Mr. Beast fans, you might as well just cryogenically freeze yourself because that's literally impossible to avoid. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. It goes without saying that you shouldn't base your decision to transition on what the fans of your friend's YouTube channel will think, especially with a fan base as massive as Mr. Beast. It's just absolutely insane. Could you imagine Chris truly thinking this is the right decision for him in every aspect, but deciding to not go through taking HRT because some Mr. Beast fans would be mad? That would be insane. This whole video is just insane. I can't believe that a YouTuber of this size posted this video with a generally positive reception prior to Mr. Beast calling out the video on Twitter. It's like you guys don't even listen to what you're watching. This has to be one of the worst commentary videos I've ever seen in a long time. But I would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Obviously, there's going to be people watching this who have a very different opinion than me and if you have that opinion I encourage you to post in the comment section below so we can add to the conversation. I really don't want my channel to become an echo chamber. If you're interested in seeing more content like this don't forget to subscribe with notifications on and with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.